Hey everyone, I'm the Goto Player, and welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be covering the second step of Dragon Evolving, which is the hatching. So, if you're not following this series, I would recommend that you watch the first video first, which covers the quickening part, which is the first step in your Dragon Evolving. So, right now, I still haven't awakened my, my egg. Um, as you can see, I'm still attempting to do it. And before we try to hatch it, we'll just be making a montage of me trying to quicken it. So let's see how many how many tries do I have to do. So this is my um I think it's the fourth or fifth try, I'm not sure. But let's start. Ah, uh, okay. Well, let's try again. <laughs> Alright, attempt number six. Let's go. Let's see if it's this time. <laughs> In the meanwhile, I've been adding uh, peerless black gems, of course, so that our success chance increases every time. And... Oh my gosh! Alright, I guess we'll see you in attempt number seven. Alright. Let's do another one, and please, oh yes, Jesus, that took a while, okay, damn, so now that I have the dragon egg, the live dragon egg, we can now proceed to the hatching, and I will need to prepare a bit, because I still don't have all the resources to do them, and I would like to record this in one sitting. Uh, with all the rec the resources required for the hatching, which we will attempt in the reliquary building, which is the Targaryen building. I if you haven't unlocked this building because you're not a you're not a Targaryen or you're not reincarnated, um, you can also do this in the Dragon Pit. However, it does take um, a bit more resources. So, for example, in the Dragon Pit, you need six pyre. In this building, you need four pyre only. So that's the advantage of unlocking it, of course. However, it's not for everyone. Either way, I still need the dragon horn. And for that, I'm going to need um, this thing right here. Yeah, the jeweled armor, which I'm missing. I only really need, I think it's only one, yeah, one sparkling jewel. As soon as I have one black ash, I will uh, do the, the armor and I'll be back. Alright everyone, I finally finished building, uh, crafting actually, the, um, the jeweled armor I think it's what it's called. Let's just check. Which is required, yeah, jeweled armor. I did it. I only needed that sparkling gem and I now use that to do the dragon horn which actually requires also valyrian glyphs which you can get by adventures only and but usually when you're like trying to get sacrifices and other materials like ceremonial bowls for your quickening you'll eventually get some of these as well so maybe by the time you <laughs> you're trying to hatch your your dragon egg you already have some of these like i have and you'll also need the great horn Let's just finish this. Okay. Yeah, I got a normal result. Doesn't really matter. The, the Great Horn is in the Hunting Lodge, which again is a filthy building uh, right here. However, if you do not have this building because you haven't reincarnated, you can also get the Great Horn in the Dragon Pit. All of these exclusive items are no longer exclusive exclusive they used to be in the past but not anymore you can craft them all in these buildings so let's go back to the hunting lodge yeah I got it from from here the great horn exactly which of course requires more resources <laughs> uh, don't forget keep in mind this is only like a small guide video I'm not gonna show you everything in detail like the exam uh, the adventures required for you to do this all the the helpful links will be in the description below so if you need to find out for example what's the best adventure for getting crystal swords actually 
they say it right here. So it's volume 2, level 90, Haunted Forest. I've already ha collected three of them, so I can do another Great Horn as soon as I get Forest Armor. And I also have the Aurochs, which are actually not that hard. Forest Armor, you're going to need Breastplates and Lead and Werewood. Werewood is, again, one of those resources that you'll eventually get while you're trying to quicken your 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 egg uh, but as soon as it's out you're probably gonna have to do some more adventures because you, ca you can't craft this and the breastplate is in the armory again this is also like a job for you to find out where everything is crafted and I'll also leave links in the description that will explain this in detail but I don't really want to get to detail in this particular video so Let's see what else do we need to try to hatch our baby dragon. As you can see, I already have the materials required, which is a live dragon egg, which we successfully <laughs> got in the beginning of the episode, four pyre, and a dragon horn. So we already covered the dragon horn. Let's see what we need to get the pyre. Unfortunately, the pyre is also... Well, there are two main ways to get it. The main way that I usually use is this one, which you can craft it in the Relor Temple, but it's a luck, um, a luck recipe. So you can, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like hatching your baby dragon. You may not get it on the first attempt or the second. It's just a matter of luck, and the more you fail, the higher your chances are of getting pyre. So for that you're gonna need these uncommon resources again adventures 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 and wildfire which you can oh you can actually craft it but I don't usually do this I think it's yeah trying to get flickering fire is not the best way to do it because it's also guess what a luck <laughs> recipe so my advice is try to get wildfire from adventures and then just do this just like that I think that's the best the best way to do it. The other main way to get pyre is that if you're in an alliance and if it's a big one there there are these challenges uh for example fire at the arsenal which automatically give you a wildfire. So that's already good. And if you're in the first place, I think in the challenge you can also get a pyre as a reward. However, this kind of stuff is usually um, arranged within the alliance. So maybe you have a Facebook page with your uh, your alliance, and you can discuss that in there. For example, in my alliance, if I want to get the pyre from this, I have to be the one donating the scorpions. For example, uh, pretty much the items, and then they will let me get the pyre <laughs> for myself. Uh, that's how it works in mine. Either way, so as soon as you get the pyre you're ready to go so let's just oh of course uh i think i yeah, yeah, yeah i covered the the sparkling jewels you need for the the yeah yeah this one you need a lot of these so one of the main adventures you're going to have to do is this one that i'm already doing to get black ash there are many ways to get black ash but this is definitely the best one which is patrolling the bay it's a small level adventure so you'll probably succeed most of the times and it's not that low percentage to black ash let me see how much I got oh well I got zero <laughs> I don't know I think it's about three percent I don't know I just got unlucky here <laughs> I usually get two or three maybe yeah around that okay so let's do this let's try to hatch our dragon for the first time <laughs> and in the comments you can for example suggest uh, what name should I give this dragon I won't show you in this video me getting the dragon that will be for the next part so I'll show you like I did in this one a montage of attempts pretty much <laughs> either way let's do our first attempt add bonus Again, I'm sticking with the Peerless Black Gems. If you don't know what the luck bonus is, I suggest you watch my previous video <laughs> about quickening. And yeah, so let's use our Peerless Black Gem. Oh man, 
that's a really small <laughs> percentage of success. So let's let's actually see how much this is. Um, yeah, I already have this site. Again, link in the description. These are very useful sites. I use the peerless one, and I'm doing it in the reliquary building. So let's see how much. Oh my gosh! So you have a 1.5 percent chance of getting it. <laughs> it's not it's not that great. Anyways, let's activate our tactics that we can use to get extra luck points. Yeah, they're already active. Good, 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 good. And yeah, I think that's it. I don't know if you have any other doubts. I'll be happy to answer them. And let's come back in a couple seconds. For me, it's going to be a day. And let's see if we got our baby dragon on our first attempt. How cool would that be? Too cool to be true. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, and it's finally here. The attempt is ready. Will we get our baby dragon on our first attempt? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like the best feeling in the whole game when you try to open or hatch an egg. Of course, the worst feeling comes after <laughs> when you fail. <laughs> Anyway, let's see if it was at the first attempt. It's it's really unlikely. It's like a 1.5% chance, but let's see. Oh my gosh, the suspense. Oh, of course. Oh well, yeah, I, I already named it. Actually, no, that's that's the older one. Yeah, I have two ready to hatch. One of them is the Sweet Fire the Gentle, and the other one is the one we hatched in the beginning of the episode which still doesn't have a name so if you can please suggest it in the comments and yeah I look forward to to see them and maybe rename my egg based on that right now I have a baby dragon named Darion the Destroyer which is a male dragon this one right here and I also have the the one that is about to hatch, the next one, it's... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh my god, okay, no, that's not it. Okay, here it is, Sweet Fire the Gentle. And this is the one we hatch, we quickened today, which doesn't have a name, and I also would like a name like this one. For example, this will be a female, this will be a male dragon. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. The next episode, which will cover uh, coloring your dragon, so making your dragon specialized. For example, I'm gonna make him red. It's gonna be a red baby dragon. Yeah, we'll cover that right here. It's not. It's actually really simple, and the percentage of success is much higher. So we may even get it on our first attempt. Who knows? Either way, it's going to take a while because I'll only do it as soon as I have all my baby dragons hatched. And I still have two of them to do. So yeah, that's going to take a while. <laughs> a long while. Um, yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.